The next piece is a story that I covered recently and it really got people talking. Artificial intelligence is changing the game on how we're all approved for loans, credit cards and mortgages. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau reports that more lenders are using AI to evaluate a lot more about us than just our credit reports. Some are scraping information from the internet and we are talking everything. We're talking your social media posts. We're talking the places that you go, all tracked by your cell phone. Data aggregation and consumer surveillance has been going on forever in, in every industry, uh, unbeknownst to, to the average consumer. And it's been being used in underwriting for a long time. What AI is doing now is it's giving us even more data. That's right, when you apply for a loan, a credit card or a mortgage, more lenders are using artificial intelligence to evaluate your credit worthiness on much more than just your credit history. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau reports many lenders are using AI to gather what's called alternative data, like your cash flow and bill paying history from things like your bank accounts, cell phone bills, rent history and insurance claims, and to gather what's called big data or fringe data, often from social media, like your browsing history, shopping habits, occupation, education, and places you visit tracked by your cell phone. People would say, why would my Facebook page have an impact on, on, a, on an application for a loan? Well, maybe you're, uh, you've mentioned bankruptcy, you know, a bunch of times. Maybe, uh, the, maybe the phone tracking, right? Location devices, location data is a big part of this. And look, unfortunately, maybe you were, you were checking into an addiction clinic every morning. That's why the CFPB is reminding lenders that when AI has denied a loan application or reduced someone's credit card limit, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act still requires the lender to inform consumers of the specific reason so they can correct or improve the situation and to help prevent discrimination. The consumer has a right to know why there was a, a negative decision and what were the, what were the uh, factors that went into that? Well, we're not gonna get that right now through AI. Yeah, so if you are denied for credit or a loan and you don't receive that specific explanation, contact the lender and ask for one. You can also file a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And if you don't wanna be tracked quite so much, you can delete your browsing history. You can adjust your privacy settings on all of your platforms and just be careful about what you're posting about yourself or your family online. You can limit some of what's online about you, but likely not everything.